Hello once again everyone. This is the Walking Dead again. Even off where we left. Left off last time. Let's go check you out guys this. need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Did I yeah, get it? Molly nice. has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No, no problem. I'm the We're best. all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, Bristol I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey. Too many awful memories. Yeah, Even been. being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least yeah. able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford no, fell, please, I, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd feel the same. I've seen horrors as well. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Let's talk to these two visitors. See how they could be with that door. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. She I don't know did. why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Saved your life? <laughs> you okay, Clem? You okay there? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. She's a Just tough sit tight, okay? 
my link. I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Yeah, I was I've been doing my neurontology work and got a good amount of it done today. Uh, I'm almost finished doing the website. Uh, I just need to like get it uploaded onto my domain. I'm probably doing that. I've already been fired. They're worthless. A video about it that it might take 12 out of 12 to 24 hours for, for it to get uploaded, so. Shit! Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there! Fuck you. Deal them. So yeah, that's, and then I'm my report uh, about halfway through part two of that ish. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we There's it no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Yeah. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. And then I'll oh, hopefully know all of that. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Uh, by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? A video. It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the yeah. mercenary kind. The, uh, How much time wolf. do you think Omid has, Doc? Huh? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate we, I it. Like, Don't mention it. Today, it's times like these. We've got to help each like, other the most, working. right? And we're no uh, better than those Crawford sons of well, bitches. So that's pretty good. I heard that. We to watch the first I'll go see if I can find something that will help us get that safe before. open. I Good I idea. Seen it, but I don't think I have seen it. I've seen the second one and the third one and the last one plenty of times. But, uh, uh, already cleaned out. Yeah, Y'all already so checked these good. drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing yeah. in there worth taking. There's dried blood on this printout, and on the floor. 
Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Hey, me Krista. Yeah? Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure we'll, it out. We'll, we'll get in there. Don't you worry. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with that him... That is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Are you feeling okay? I'm, sure he will. I'm fine. Are you? Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Uh, you okay. You clearly love you. No tape inside. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Don't you? Oh, she God, oh, God, oh, God. She's at the As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a set of It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Stupid COVID! You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Work. It wouldn't work. It's just the stupidest thing ever. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him. See what he's got on him. Let's go out to the other shop then. hilarious because it's so, I mean it's not an old film, it's made in the 80s but uh, like how it's di it's different to a modern film how it's not as good uh, and CGI stuff the robot and stuff Get Kelly 
my life I'm not interested now. It was different in that respect. said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Uh, it's like no, it's no vela of the, uh, the House of Night series, so it's like backstory to uh, one of the characters called Neferet, who is like the main villain of the main, the main story. backstory back of how she started it was very interesting to me the tape safe combination has got to be on one of these what it was sort of thing how she became ten, was intended to the character she was and you sort of got to pity her a bit because of the description thing I found two more tapes to her, one of them is dated October 10th that's Wait, the day yeah. after the first one we watched. Put it in. Which was just... Uh, have you made a decision? Never. I yeah. thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't yes. make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again, but for now, today, we have to do this. More importantly, we got the combination. What's with you? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. She's, that was just you're hard pregnant. to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. You're all right. Moon, all you throw Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this the as we can. Old man, we hit the pillow. Okay, I think uh, we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I won't. I just wanted to watch this tape. Not working. Mm. So yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's not exactly one of the longest books in the world. It's like 150 pages or something like that. The Listen, the as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, 
That's the Crawford way, isn't it? He gave him sex to get medicine for his sister. That's interesting. Well, shit. Back to the classroom. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Thanks, man. But I know your secret. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. It's a picture of your sister, ain't it? You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are yeah, we really gonna do this now? strange, man. I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just Missouri wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have yeah. left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. The fucking access gun. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Man. Sorry, huh? sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone that coming. Fucking what the fuck are you doing out here? Not. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, are you stupid uh, idiot. Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Oh. You're the badass. Lee! Shoot this fucker! It wasn't me! Good job, Clem. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! All my fault. What the yeah, hell is he is. babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, and it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Yeah, I'd be pissed too. Kitty, lay off, man! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen! It was all just a mistake! I don't give a fuck! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a boat fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not you big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Yeah. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. Yeah, That's I'm my straight. vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna upstate. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? You gotta say when you're dead. You make you make a good meal for them. Now can we go? Damn right, Vernon. Come on. Let's go. Twisted it right. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Nope. Oh, Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! That get me a shit, kid. There's my stomach again. Fuck 
It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We did. Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Bones, the bones! Bones! No. Them and the others out of here. Lee. Go. I'll do Lee, we both know. Let me go. Open your dick. You're my dick. Yes, bitch. Why? Go, go, go! Mm, bell tools that you can get. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! It's fine. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? <laughs> we got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Because he's not dead. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. No Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better the pretty soon. The hell, I'll stay here left. for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden. And a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us, 
Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? She stays with me. You didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. Thank you. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. You wouldn't do it and mess with me. I'm a bad ass. I mean, so it makes sense, but she stays with me. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. You're it's been fun. Good. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. You're doing well, my dear. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. You good kid. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Yeah, I do. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. It's a little bit skill. Nowadays. Hey, sweet pea. How are you Kenny's doing? Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do, after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Yeah. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. A bit stupid, I got Before admit. we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. It's not safe. <laughs> Nowhere is. Hey there. Shh. The morning after, did you even get Clementine? Clementine! 
This might be a slightly longer episode because I know I'm near the end of this uh, episode. Well, but so I'm just gonna roll with it. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it, man. Try to keep, keep the really entertaining commentary all the way through. Let's check this. Thank you, worker. You do you get shit at me, though you might have bitten me. Good at all. No. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. no. Why did it have to no. happen to me? Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? I'm infected. You out here? Lee? No, it's a chance to die. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Hey. Lee? Where's Clementine? Hey. She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. I just get bit, man. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. Thanks, man. Our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really do. Really. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. Lee. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? There's been plenty of times you ain't been. Yeah. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. D. All right, I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Yay. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? Redemption, man. I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? No choice at all. Really appreciate you guys coming with me for find Glam, who's practically my daughter now. Managed to get rid of them.
They're all all this noise again. What the fuck? They've scabbed heaven day. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. He ain't here. He went back. <sighs> he took the boat. <sighs> Spoiler. <laughs> I don't feel so good. What's that? Walkers. A whole lot of them by the sound of it. Looks like the walking army is caught up with us. Seventy-four percent of players killed the boy in the attic. You and sixty-six percent of players were rational and honest to Vernon. You and seventy-three percent of players brought her to Crawford. You and sixty-seven percent of players uh, saved Ben, and you and eighty percent of players who the fight. Right. Pretty good odds there. The working dead around every corner. Yeah, we really enjoyed this one. Let's get in this body up. Let's go into the climatic end. For episode 5. Really looking forward to getting to play that one for you guys. That'll be tomorrow's episode. It's good. Playing this game. I'm enjoying it. A bit of a good scene that at the end. That. This is one way of doing it. I mean, this is the story, the story game, isn't it? Winter is coming! <laughs> Merry Winter is coming, Stan! <laughs> oh, Game of Thrones! <laughs> Obviously ended here because there's no more left to film. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.